Welcome to learn how to Chinese. 欢迎 This is an elementary class for Pinyin beginners. If you don't know what Pinyin is, click here to watch the Pinyin introduction video. Do you still remember how many initials there are in Pinyin? Yes, there are twenty-one initials plus two special initials, which I will talk about in other video. Chinese people organize the twenty-one initials into six groups, based on the positions your lips and tongue make to form each sound. And in this video, I will first read all the initial, and then I will walk you through the pronunciation for the first three groups. I highly recommend you take out a small mirror to observe your lips and tongue movements as you learn to pronounce these sounds. Let's get started. Po, po, mo, fo, de, te, ne, le, ge, ke, he. Ji, qi, xi, zhi, chi, shi, ri, zi, ci, si. All right, these are the twenty-one initials. Let's go through the first three groups. The first group focuses on lip position. It contains four initials: bo, po, mo, fo. To form the sound correctly, first you close your mouth and make sure your tongue is not touching any parts inside your mouth. For example, look at the three pictures. You want your tongue to be like the card in the middle of the box. It's not touching the top or the bottom. Ready? Take out your mirror and read. Bo, bo, bo. Have you noticed that your lips were forming an O shape? If yes, you're making the right sound. One more thing to make sure you get it right: put your hand in front of your mouth and feel the weak air coming out when you say "bo, bo." Now, use the same technique to read "po, po." This time, you should feel the air is stronger than that compared to "bo." Next. Mo, 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 and four, four, four. One more time for the four initials. Bo, po, mo, four. The second group focuses on tongue position. It also contains four initials. Now look at the mirror and say, na, na, na. Do you feel that your jaw is relaxed while your tongue is moving up and down? Now use the same technique to read the first two initials: de, 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 and then te, te. Be careful. Some of you may say da 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 and ta ta ta. They are incorrect. Moving on. Now place two fingers on your nostrils. And read, na, na, na. Do you feel the vibration on your nose? Next, remain your same position and read, le, le, le. All right, read them all together. De, te, na, le. The third group focuses on the soft palate. It contains three initials. You may wonder where your soft palate is. Look at your mirror and say the word "go" in English. When you say "go," you're forming the sound with your soft palate. The soft palate is very close to the back of your mouth, near your tonsils, and it's where your tongue tip cannot reach when going backward. All right, say the initial. G, 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 and use the same technique to say, k, 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 and h, h, h. Now read them all together. G, k, 
科，科。Congratulations. Good job learning and understanding the first three groups of initials. You should feel good about your accomplishment on Pinyin pronunciation. Now, click here to do an exercise to make sure you know how to use and say each Pinyin. Happy learning! Bye.